barbershop conversation guys feel free to hit the subscribe button so i'm gonna play this i'm gonna play this for you guys and uh i'm gonna break it down um after i play it listen up guys trying to get people watching and asses in those seats you know but you saying after you're not doing that no but i don't feel like i have to be ignorant to to put on a show or sell a show mm -hmm. you know with with us as a black race, we always feel like we got to do that, you know, make them hate us, to watch us, to pay us, pay pay for us to lose, right. you know. I'm watching you to see if you lose. I want to be there to see you lose, mm. you know, not watching you just to support you, oh, that's real. you know, but when you see all these other fighters come over here from different countries, they not showing their ass, they not putting on this big old villain suit. You know, they just been themselves, and they selling millions of tickets, and people supporting them. Why can't we do the same thing? That is, that's actually a very good point. No, it's true. like they like the people that we love to hate is who we tune into. That's a fact. Just love me to love me, right? Yeah, I get it. You're not a big fight. Everybody wants to see. All right, now let me break this down. Terrence Crawford, I mean, he broke it down extremely eloquent, articulate, and probably as good as anyone can break it down. Now, I, I want to double down on that. He's in competition in his own stable with the man he just described, Vasil Lomachenko. And whether it's outward or inward, you are the villain <laughs> at top rank. And and I'm waiting for you to outwardly understand what the hell is going on. And if you don't believe me, uh, call 78 Sports. He, he can give you, Bo Mac has interviewed with 78 Sports and Black Fight Fan TV and the rest of the Smoke City Mobcast. And if you don't believe me that this is going on, I want you to simply call 78 and he will happily explain to you what happened when he applied for the credential at top rank. So, Terrence Crawford, so the question to you is, how long will you play second fiddle under your own promotional company? And um, you are arguably, pound for pound, the best fighter in the world. Uh, but you're not arguably, pound for pound, the best fighter in your stable. You understand what I'm saying? And people are going to say, well, ESPN has put money behind you and whatever the case may be. But let me tell you this. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with AAU basketball. There are. There are the top teams and the B-level teams. You want to play on a top-level team so you can get the most exposure and get a D1 scholarship, no matter what sport, whether it's volleyball, basketball, you know, all these indoor sports, that the team sports that they have during the summer, and they have these travel teams. Terrence Crawford should have been on regular ESPN. It's a flagship program, obviously, the same way Fox used Martin Lawrence and uh, New York Undercover to build their to build their to build their brand up and then dump them in the end and didn't go to Fox News and 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 report everything all things white. That's the same thing Top Rank is going to do to you. They're going to use you and then put someone right behind you. You know, it's very evident what the hell is going on. And for them not to have any black fighters, you know what I mean, coming in at an alarming rate when Bob Arum has been in the game over 40 years, 50 years I might say. You know, so he has a he has the name cachet. He has the, I mean, there's no mistake in Bob Arum is a Hall of Famer. But they don't have the infrastructure to support you, Terrence Crawford. And if you don't believe me, you fought on ESPN Plus, and people are going to say, "Oh, that was a blessing. It's the first. Listen, they didn't report the numbers. If they don't report the numbers, you didn't do too well. All right, and um, uh, and and that's the bottom line. You will not get the money you deserve. If you continues to willingly play second fiddle. Now, you can stand up to me, and I've seen you stand up to people like me in media and, 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 and hold your own. But will you stand up to the man that signs your checks? Will Bomax stands up to the man that signs your checks? I, I, I heard Bomax say, fuck Sam Watson. It, Sam Watson ain't signing your fucking checks. Bob Arum is. You're saying fuck you to the wrong man, Bomax. All right, at the end of the day. What you going to do? All right. Are you going to be a strong black man that you are in the ring? And will you be a strong black man in the boardroom? That's it. That's what it boils down to. And uh, uh, and, and this is some tough love. This is some nasty ass medicine I'm going to give you, but it's going to heal you. 
and you're not going to get the name cachet in your next fight. If you go on ESPN Plus on your next fight against Jose Benavides, only my subscribers are going to know you're having a fight. But let me tell you, when Lomachenko comes back in December, guess what? They're going to have a media day. They're going to have a media workout. Not the week of the fight. The, a month before the week of the fight. You didn't have a media workout. You didn't have a fucking media call that I know of. You understand what I'm saying? Um, uh... They they didn't present you in front of the uh, the the Australian New Zealand press, you know. You just should have had a day where you just spoke to them, right? That didn't happen. Jeff Horn was more popular than you in this fight worldwide. If you don't believe me, Google Analytics proves it. And so Terence Crawford, I know you're tough. I know you're the pound for pound baddest man on the planet, and I know you're doing a better job. But you can do all you want to do outwardly. You can do everything you want to do outwardly. <laughs> Are you going to be the baddest man on the planet in the, in the boardroom, in front of Bob Arum, in front of Todd LaBeouf? Will you do that? Because at the end of the day, I'm going to do a separate video on this. Top rank don't want another Floyd Mayweather. They want a Vasil Lomachenko. And it's, it's, it, it's the hard truth. It's the reality. I don't know what your attendance was. I should have Googled it before I did this video. But uh, you're not getting the money you rightfully deserve. And you're not getting the name cachet you rightfully deserve. T top rank, Bob Arum. Bob Arum is on ESPN, right? ESPN. Let me, let me, let me just Google this. So you guys, so I can just. ESPN pound for pound. ESPN. Pound for pound boxing rankings. ESPN, March 9th, 2018. Number one, Vasil. This is ESPN, y'all. They love Terrence. ESPN loves Terrence Crawford, right? Number one, Vasil Lomachenko. Number two, Gennady Golovkin. Number three, Terrence Crawford. Number four, Canelo Alvarez. Number five, Earl Spence. <laughs> March 9th, 2018. This 2018, right? This is the same network in which he fights on. They got Vasil Lomachenko, 10 and 1, 8 knockouts. Gennady Golovkin, who just was stripped and who hasn't fought, has only fought two credible opponents over the last three years. Daniel Jacobs, Can Canelo Alvarez. Go figure. Terrence Crawford, they love you over there, right? They really, really love you. Bo Mack. Bo Mack, you said fuck you to the wrong man. <laughs> you said fuck Sam Watson. You should be like fuck ES ESPN will never support you as long as Vasil Lomachenko is on the market. Guarantee you. If you don't believe me, well, every time they interview Floyd Mayweather, what they do? Oh, you hit a woman. Oh, you did, huh? Oh, you hit a woman, huh? But they bring Oscar De La Hoya on. Oh, what's next for Canelo Alvarez? We want that fight even though he's taking steroids, Stephen A. Smith, right? Y'all don't want the truth. See, the problem is people don't want the truth. They want what they want what they can digest, right? And, and at the end of the day, Terrence Crawford, you're being manipulated. You're being used to start a flagship program. If that's the case, flip the script. Put Vasil Lomachenko on it. No, 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 no. Vasil Lomachenko is going to steal your fucking audience. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. If you re-sign with them without facts and guarantees or... And purses, you're the fool. You're Bobo the Clown. And I pray to God you get this video. I pray to God someone sends it to you. I pray to God Bo Max sends this video to you. Because I don't know how much money you made. I, and, and the only reason why I bring that up is because whatever you got, Bob Arum <laughs> got that percentage-wise, per se. You know what I mean? Because, now, I mean, let's not be mistaken, Don King and Bob Arum are cut from the same cloth. You know, one has white skin, and one was a lawyer, and one was a street lawyer. You get what I'm saying? So, a street hustler for, for this, for the, uh... So, it's on you, Terrence Crawford. You said it out of your own mouth. They don't want the, they don't want the guy who's just himself and don't have to play the villain. You're not the villain. You're second fiddle. You're second fiddle to a guy who's ten and one. One, he's lost already. He's lost to a guy 
that you would play around with for nine rounds if he weighed the same as you, Salito. You would you would play you would tap dance all around a guy like Salito. You would do the same thing you did to him that you did to the Diaz kid, uh, Felix Diaz, the gold medalist. So so it, it's, it's literally on you. What you gonna do, man? What you gonna do? Bob Arum is raping, using ESPN is raping, manipulating you, man. And and you're not gonna get it. Bo Mac is so mother. I, 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 I'm just beside myself. Bo Mac said, fuck you to a black man. Bo Mac said, fuck you to a black man. I don't know if he was joking or whether he's serious, but I'm taking it I'm taking it verbatim. He said, fuck you to a black man, but allowed the white man to put, to put him on ESPN+. Plus. Allowed the white man to give him the same date as a big card on PBC. You don't even have your own fucking date. You're sharing dates. And this is the third time where your last four fights, I believe this has happened. I got it, Lincoln. I got it. I'm coming. Close the door. I'm coming. Close the door. Can you blend? I'm coming. Yeah. Okay, give me a minute. And uh, so, uh, I got to go play daddy real quick. But uh, at the end of the day, thank you, Lincoln. <laughs> so, what you going to do, man? What you going to do? You going to be a strong black man when it's comfortable, when you're around black men? Or are you going to be a strong black man when you're in a, when you're in a boardroom with 10 white men? And those of you saying, oh, this, listen, I turned down a million-dollar contract from Warner Brothers. I turned down a six-figure contract from ESPN. Why? Because I believed in myself. So I don't want to hear none of that shit. I don't know. I've never seen millions. I wake up, and I see millions every motherfucking day. All right? And, and so I, so I want to I dead that comic because people going to come in and say, oh, you're just a poor black man. You don't know what it's like to have money. You don't know what it's like to be. I know what it's like. Every day. My net worth is growing. Every goddamn day, my net worth is growing. I want you guys to fully understand it. All right? And Terrence Crawford, it's time for you to understand and get it. You said it. Okay, can you fix it for me? So I got to go play daddy. I'm going to come back. I'm going to do a part two to this video. Send this to Terrence Crawford. Send this to Bo Mac. Bo Mac, I, I, I can't believe you said fuck you to a black man. And you won't say fuck you to Bob Arum. You share the fucking date when no Mexicans are going to watch and come to your fight on a macro level. <laughs> you're on ESPN Plus and you're ranked number three by ESPN in the pound for pound list. Oh, they believe in you. They love you. Watch when Vasil Lomachenko come back in December. They're going to have a media workout three weeks before his fight. I know because I'm going to get the I'm going to get the I'm going to get the email out there in, Ox not in Oxnard. Yeah, he. They're gonna have a media day. They're gonna have a they gonna have a press day, a media day. They might even have a luncheon to announce the fight here in LA. Why? Because they put money behind them. They had you fake and hand injury. I don't know if it was fake, but they wanted you to change the date. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna do a video on speculation, just on pure facts. So let's omit what I just said. You had to change the date. And you still didn't get a media workout. They still didn't put money in you to promote the fight. If it wasn't for people like me promoting this fight and people on YouTube and people who genuinely love and support you, Terrence Crawford. What would have happened? So, Bo Mac, you're fucking completely lost. If top rank is, is using you to build up uh everyone else all right michael conlon will be a bigger star than shakur stevenson bet me ten thousand dollars you don't believe me we'll put it in escrow and we'll take it out in five years <laughs> barbershop conversations man this is the stone cold truth hard truth and 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 um i internalized that interview I was digesting it all throughout the day yesterday, and, and, and it hit me. I was like, Terrence Crawford completely understands. I, Terrence Crawford is intelligent, and Terrence Crawford has five kids, I believe he said, so he gets it. He understands how important every dollar is to him. I have two kids. I understand how important every dollar is to me. I still pick up pennies. <laughs> I still go to the 99-cent store. As Deontay Wilder said, I still know the price of milk. So anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to subscribe. I'm, I'm coming back. Um, I got to go play daddy. I got to go in daddy mode real quick. And then I'll, I'll come back and do a part two of this video. Barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.